Hi everyone, I'm children's book author and illustrator Grace Lynn. You might know me from my picture books like these, A Big Bed for Little Snow, or A Big Moon Cake for Little Star, or you might know my middle grade novels like this, uh, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, and my most recent novel, Mulan Before the Sword. But if you listen to my most recent video, you also know that I'm the author of these novels, The Year of the Dog and The Year of the Rat. And like I said in that video, these books are not about dogs and not about rats. They're about my life during my very first Chinese Year of the Dog and my very first Chinese Year of the Rat. Because hopefully you know, in Chinese culture, every year is named after a different animal and each animal gives their kind of personality traits to the year. Well, this year, right now, 2020, is the year of the rat. And if you listen to my last video, like I said, you'll know that in the year of the rat, it's a good year for changes. A lot of things change in the year of the rat. It's a good year for new beginnings. And you're probably feeling some of those changes right now, huh? <laughs> But since it's a good time for new beginnings, let's make this year of the rat as lucky as possible. And one way to do that is to have a lucky Lunar New Year decoration in your house. So what I thought I'd do today is show you all how to make your own lucky Lunar New Year decoration for the year of the rat. So everybody get your paper and your pencil, and it would be also good if you have a red crayon or something red to color things in with at the end. And we will draw our lucky Lunar New Year for the Year of the Rat. So first we're going to start with the rat. To draw the rat is very easy. First, what you're going to do is start with kind of a soft V. So you're going to make a V but with a, sh a soft point, not a sharp point. So a soft V. And then on one side of the V, I want you to make a C shape like this. And then on the other side of the V, another C shape. And then I want you to connect those two C shapes with another curved line. See how that's the mouse head? Now put two more C shapes inside there so it looks like the mouse's ears. All right, now what we're going to do now is make the Lunar New Year sign. Your rat is going to be holding the Lunar New Year sign. So to do that, we're going to start right here underneath his nose. Make a line that goes straight like that. And then on the other side of his nose right there, you're going to make another line straight like that. And then you're going to make it into a box because he's, making, he's holding a Lunar New Year banner. So put a straight line down like that and a straight line down like that and then another straight line like that. See how he's... It's a box right there. Now you want him to be holding this banner. So put his shoulder like this by putting a curved line there. So it looks like he's behind the banner. Another curved line here. So you see his two shoulders. Now you're going to want to put his hand up here. He's holding this banner. So put five little fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And then on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. So the, there's the rat holding the banner and we're gonna put his feet down here too because it's this banner is so long it's just touching his feet so put one two three four five his toes there another here one two three four five his toes there and let's put his tail his tail sticking out from behind this banner so we're gonna put a nice curvy tail like that you can make a nice little s shape there all right, so we have our rat holding the banner. So let's make this a lucky Chinese New Year banner. So we are gonna write the Chinese word for luck right here. Now, I'm gonna show you how to write the Chinese word for luck. This is not exactly the correct uh, calligraphy way to write it, but if you follow what I do, it'll look, it'll look just right at the end. Okay, so first you're gonna make a short slashing line like that. Underneath that short slashing line, I want you to make kind of like a slanted seven, almost like a Z, but missing its third line. All right, now from the middle of this line right there, I want you to make a line that goes straight down like that. All right, then I want you to make another short slashing line like that. That's the first part of the character that we're making. Now let's make the second part. Now, to make the second part, I want you to make a minus sign, just like that. 
Underneath the minus sign, I want you to make a small rectangle, like that. Underneath that small rectangle, I want you to make a big rectangle, or maybe more like a square, not really a rectangle, more like a square. And in that big square, I want you to make a big plus sign so it looks kind of like a window. Now this right here is the Chinese word fu, which means luck. So right now, this is your lucky banner. Your mouse is holding luck. And to make this even more lucky, what you're gonna do is take your red crayon and you're gonna color in your banner. So it's a red banner. Because in Chinese culture, red is the color of luck. It is the color that scares away all the bad luck. It scares away bad spirits and leaves the good spirits or the good luck with you. So that's why they wear a lot of red at Lunar New Year. That's why red is such an important color because it's the color of good luck because it scares away any bad luck. All right, so you have your red banner. So now let's give our mouse a face, right? So first, do a nice nose like that. And you can give them some whiskers too. Uh, let's pick a lucky number. Let's do six whiskers. One, two, three, four, five, six, because uh, six is a lucky number. And then give your mouse some eyes so that he or she can see the year and see you and bring you good luck for this year, the year of the rat. So I hope you feel lucky. So take this drawing and you can hang it on your door or your window and hopefully you'll be lucky for the rest of this year, the year of the rat. So that just leaves me one more thing to say. I wanted to remind you about my podcast, Kids Ask Authors. It's a podcast where a guest author and I answer one kid question and every episode ends with a kid book review, a kid poem, or a kid joke. So you can submit your own poem, your own joke, your own book review, and we'll play it on the podcast. So please submit those things. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks so much.